But yeah, let me just turn the camera around and show you guys my view right now. Because it's actually breathtaking. Here you go. Look at that. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome back to yet another Project Exodus slash Hyperia construction update. That's right, once again, I'm here on the construction site of the UK's tallest roller coaster. Today is Friday the 27th of October, which means we're coming to the end of yet another construction week here on site. I'll talk about these construction weeks, but to be fair to the guys working here, they've been working weekends recently, so it's almost pointless me talking about the like start of a new construction week or the end of a construction week, because the people working here on this coaster are working so hard, pretty much around the clock. But yeah, I've actually caught them on a good day because there are no workers doing this lower end of the site construction in which they are of course putting the ride up. I'd love to pan the camera around. In fact, I'll give you a little tease. Look how insane this thing is looking guys. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, my plan for today's video, obviously I'm starting it in the construction site. So it's gonna be quite a quick one today. I'm gonna to start off by showing you the progress that's been taking place down this end of the site, where the site office and stuff is and where the ride station is, first of all. Um, and of course, with the foundations for the bottom of the lift hill, because um, loads and loads of stuff has been happening down there. But because the workers that are working on this kind of main ride structure and like the steel works for the supports and the track itself, because they're not in today, it means that I'm gonna have an amazing opportunity to get a little bit closer to the ride's main structure than I normally would. I like to normally like stand back a little bit just to let them do their thing. I don't wanna be intruding, but yeah, they're not in today. So it means I can properly get in and amongst this structure and get some views that we've never seen before of this thing but yeah it's literally flown up over the past week my last update i filmed on tuesday today is of course friday so i've got loads and loads of exciting things to show you so yeah let's start off by heading back towards the site office end of the site to show you the ride station maintenance building and of course the bottom of the first lift deal and then we'll be heading back here very shortly it's looking so good though So it's been absolutely ages since I've brought the camera down to this area of the site. So there's quite a lot to show you. Obviously, as I've shown in the past few updates from a distance, the station is now fully done in terms of the framework, at least. Obviously, they will be adding walls and like feeding and stuff. Don't you worry. Um, but yeah, the steel work for the station looks to be fully there now. You can 100% tell like the shape and the size of the building. It looks like they've put some netting up where the floor for the station is gonna be. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure why they've done that but yeah we've got some netting up in there now um, as i've shown many times in these videos you will be entering the station from this end down here in fact this area right here is where you'll be able to get like a accessibility lift up into the station and then there'll be some stairs just on the other side of the lift um, for people to go up and obviously board the train which will be sat right in the middle down here and then yeah you'll exit down this side there'll be some stairs just underneath where i'm standing right now and then yeah you'll exit round via a nice little kind of exit plaza where you'll be able to watch a nice splash down um, of the ride before then making your way out through the gift shop and back into the ride's main plaza just on the other side of this station but yeah just down um, past the station as you can see we've had loads of progress in regards to the maintenance building it once again just like the station looks like this is pretty much there in terms of like the steel work and frame of the building um, again, there will of course be walls added in due course, but for now it's looking really cool indeed. And yeah, this is a building that as a guest, you never really care about to be honest, but this is where they'll kind of look after the rides cards and everything. Talking about the rides cards, I see a lot of comments about when we'll first see them. To be honest, I'm not too sure. I imagine it will be quite a late addition to the site because they'll obviously need the entire track to be up before they can then put cars onto the track. And I'm sure once they arrive here at the park, it won't be too long before they start
start sending them around and start testing them. I can't wait to start filming videos of this thing going around the track. It's going to be such an exciting time, especially that very first test run. Hopefully I'll be able to catch it for you guys. Be sure to subscribe for that. Um, and then yeah, obviously once the ride exits the station, you'll be doing a nice little outer bank turn um, on these supports here. It'll take you right round to the bottom of the lift where of course I showed you this nice little triangular foundation that they've been building and pouring cement into. And yeah, that construction is ongoing. As you can see, they're still working on it as I speak. The other day when I was filming here, they were actually pouring concrete into it. So yeah, it's a bit of a long process, but this is of course where the base of the lift here will be before you then head up 236 feet into the air. Very, very cool indeed. But yeah, I'm now going to make my way back down to the other end of the site to show you the very exciting vertical construction that's been taking place. So let's head down there now. So I've made my way back down the very muddy construction site, I must say, back down towards this lower end of the site where, of course, the ride structure has been going vertical over the past few weeks. And yeah, as I said, the workers are not currently in today, which means I'm able to get a lot closer than I normally would in these updates. So I don't want to get in the way when I'm filming these updates of the people doing their actual jobs. So yeah, today I'm able to show you some amazing views from areas we've never been able to show you before. But yeah, right now I'm currently stood with the rides golden track. Apologies, <laughs> just coming around this side. Yeah, I'm stood here with the Rise Golden Track, which is of course yet to be put up. However, there are currently one, two, three, four bits of Golden Track currently sat in this area. Let me come and grab the camera. There we go. So yeah, of course, they're currently storing bits of track in this area um, so that they're ready to go up. I imagine literally on the end of this golden bit here um, once the time comes. <laughs> but yeah, let me just turn the camera around and show you guys my view right now because it's actually breathtaking. Here you go. Look at that. Honestly, being able to stand here is so, so cool. And unfortunately, this is an area where you'll never actually get to go once this ride opens. I, I, I won't even be able to come into this area because um, this will all be ride area. The main rides plaza will, of course, be where I was just filming earlier on, which is why I'm honestly so grateful to be able to film these updates for you guys because these are views of this coaster that we'll never get to see again. And yeah, as I said, because the workers aren't here, I'm gonna take full advantage of that and go for a little wander around this area. Because <laughs> the views you get are absolutely silly. And yeah, of course, the last video that I filmed, they'd literally just put in these two white bits of track just on this side. Um, but as you can see, over the course of this week, they've made loads and loads of progress, not only on this side, but also over here where they've kind of gone a decent amount of the way up um, with some wide track there. But yeah, the main kind of thing to look at in today's video, the main updates that I have to show you, are of course the white track that's been added over here. Look at that. This is the part of the ride that I'm actually most excited for, Loki. I mean, obviously you've got that insane first drop, but I think after that, I'm then most excited for this part of the ride. And even the ride's like designer, John Burton, said this is the part of the ride that he is very excited to ride. Um, because of course it's not like any roller coaster element that we've really seen before. There's a similar one of these on Iron Guazi over in America, um, Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. But yeah, essentially you're going to go up this element on this part of the ride and then you're basically going to do an outer bank, which means on this part of the ride, you're going to be upside down. You see this bit of track here on the underside, the roller coaster's wheels are going to be on this bit of the track, which means your body is going to be upside down basically. And then, yeah, you're going to twist round to the point where you're eventually back up. Um, so you're going to be on top of this bit of track, this bit of rail, I should say, right here. And then, yeah, you'll be pretty much flat, sitting normally once you reach this part of the track. But for all of this element, you're either going to be on your side or upside down, which is just insane. And it's an element that's so unique, which is why so many people are excited for it. But yeah, just, <laughs> just being stood where I'm standing is so, so cool. 
And yeah, this is the second tallest point of this ride. You're gonna be 165 foot up in the air when riding this piece of the ride. And to put that into context, the swarm is 127 foot. So of course, when you do that kind of twist on the first drop of the swarm, you're gonna be at a taller point on this part of the ride on Hyperia, insane. But yeah, just next to me, we've got one of the cherry pickers that of course the workers have been using to get up to these really, really high points. As I've said, I've praised these workers so much. They're absolutely insane at what they do. And I genuinely don't think I could manage to stand on these at heights of like 165 foot um, doing their job. Like they must be very brave to be up at those heights. So massive props to them. And then yeah, just behind this kind of support structure, we've got the crane, which has of course been lifting these bits of track over here into place, which the workers then kind of bolt together and everything. The next stages for this project, I'm not sure if they'll do over this weekend or maybe they'll start um, on Monday next week. But yeah, they're basically gonna be putting the rest of this white track in and basically topping off this structure right here. The way they do it is they have to go up either side um, of the structure first. Um, and then they'll be able to put on that final piece on top of this structure. And at that point, this um, whole kind of structure and element of the ride will be completed. Wow, I just can't stop looking up at this thing and taking in these amazing views. And then yeah, once they do this element of the ride, they'll then of course move further down the site. I'm not sure if they'll then take their attention to this side of the site where they'll then do the kind of ride's final corner or if they'll then kind of start on the rise lift hill. I'm not too sure on what their order is gonna be. I imagine they'll probably do this final corner um, after this bit. But yeah, as I said, I can't stop just looking at this thing and trying to see it from every possible angle. I'm gonna stop filming on this camera for a minute and just get some nice shots of this ride from every single angle that I possibly can. So enjoy these shots right here. It's hard to believe that this exact spot where I'm standing right now is the spot that I always used to come to in some of the earlier construction updates. And I used to say, this is one of my favorite spots on site because you can just look out over the entire construction site from this little hill um, down this lower end of the site. Um, but yeah, I obviously haven't been able to come up to this exact spot because this is where the cranes and workers have all been putting up this massive structure from. So yeah, it's nice to actually come back here and just take it all in. But yeah, that brings me to the end of yet another Hyperia update. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for even more updates coming out over the next week. As I said, hopefully I'll be able to capture them topping off this element right here. And yeah, otherwise, thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. I really hope you've all enjoyed it. My name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye.